Hello everybody, uh, my name is uh, Andy and I'm wanting to talk to you all today about my experience with, um, I suppose, giving up alcohol. I say I slightly qualify that because I, I don't think I've really given it up yet, although I've stopped at this point. I'm not so sure it's, it's completely out of my system, if that's the right word to use, or phraseology rather. Um, it was my intention to, to make this, this video, um, with, within the first day and so on. But, but frankly, I, I didn't believe I'd even get past the first day. Uh, currently I'm roughly at about four months, which I'm somewhat surprised at, but I, I just didn't believe I would follow through, um, with this commitment um, that I made. And, you know, I, I know that sort of building up to this, I took quite a lot of comfort from listening to other people's stories, all sorts of people from all over the world with all different sort of alcohol-based stories and reasons. And and I thought, well, if, if nothing else, I, I'm gonna make this video for two reasons. One to sort of reflect back on my progress as time goes on. And secondly, if it helps anybody, then wonderful, because I know how how challenging it can be. I'm not saying that I have the most challenging circumstances. I'm sure other people have much more challenging circumstances, but I know it took me some time to make a commitment. Um, and really, I think, I don't know what it's like for the rest of you out there, but I think that most people who socially drink, and I was very much a social drinker, um, you know, I didn't, I didn't really get into trouble. I didn't, uh, excuse me, <coughs> I didn't get into trouble. I didn't, you know, have health conditions particularly. I didn't have, um, uh, you know, didn't sort of not turn up to work and all this sort of thing. Um, my primary driver was the recognition that I needed to lose some weight. I was getting pretty big um, and still am actually, but I knew that if I was gonna lose weight, alcohol couldn't be part of that journey. And so that was the sort of primary driver, but making the decision I'd been thinking about for, probably for a few years. Uh, I, I'd just be interesting to know what people would say out there, you know, is, is when they start to investigate and look at maybe YouTube videos like this or uh, or start to look at their alcohol intake, what stimulated them? Why? Why now? Why not five years ago or last month or whatever it may be? Why now? What's changed? For me, as I said, it was the, the recognition that I had to stop to help my weight loss. But also there was an event which really was a non-event and a series of non-events that just got me to the point where it was time. And I remember it was Thursday evening and I remember one of those events occurred and between myself and my wife, I won't go into any details, but I felt, I felt so embarrassed and so I felt so I'd let myself down and others down. I wasn't drunk, by the way, um, but it's sort of almost that night rewired me in a, in, a, in a way. And I remember waking up on the on the Friday morning and saying to myself, "Look, I want to lose some weight. You know, you're probably uh, your relationship is probably a little bit skewed. Let's just say that in terms of alcohol. This is the day." And that was my first thought. My second thought was, "Oh my God, Friday night. Friday night. I normally." make dinner, tidy up, um, turn on the rugby and sit there and have four to six pints and fall asleep in a chair. That wasn't gonna be part of that Friday night and that did concern me, but I got through it without any real issues, if I'm honest. Of course, my next thought was Saturday night and so on. But I found that, and this I don't wish to sound overly confident, but I just found that the switch was 
not overly difficult. From drinking probably four to six pints a night to nothing. And even today, sort of four months later, I still feel like that. Um, there are other things that have happened in the sense of I'm questioning my whole, what you know, my whole journey in terms of my relationship with alcohol, which perhaps I'll come on to later. But the most important thing is that I think that I, I I'm, I'm surprised that I'm where I am, and I'm surprised that I'm not, I'm not climbing the walls when I want to want to drink. But it really hasn't been difficult. I have used some techniques like some of the non-alcoholic products, um, some non-alcoholic beers, um, also seed lip, which is like a sort of ginny type of thing with lots of ice and lemon. I, and I've really found that's taken the edge off. I've been out on quite a few social occasions where I've not drank and I was worried about that in the sense of it might affect others, but it didn't. Um, in fact, if anything, it probably it probably makes them question their own position, uh, positively, by the way. Um, and I've not really struggled with it. You know, the thought of myself going out with, say, friends who we recently went out with, who we've known for years, it's always a nice, quite a nice boozy event, and not having a drink. The thought of me even four months ago saying that just wouldn't have even crossed my mind. In fact, I, I, I would have said, no, I don't want to go because I, I would have perceived it would have been boring or I wouldn't have enjoyed it. But actually, I enjoyed it as much. Yes, I didn't have the alcohol, which meant I drove home, by the way. Um, but I didn't enjoy that. I, I enjoyed their company just as much as I would have done if I'd had probably quite a few pints and quite a bit of wine. Um, just didn't have any of the, one, the cost, two, the hangover, and, 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 and three, the sort of slight, how can I word it, the slight sort of regret in the morning. And I've had quite a few of those events, and they've just not been a problem. I'm building up to Christmas now. Uh, my intention today, and when, what, the 2nd of December, is that I won't ever drink at Christmas. Um, and I, I think ultimately what I'm hoping to get to, I did sort of touch on my relationship with alcohol. I, I always thought that on the start of this journey, I'd just like to have a, a sort of a, be a moderate drinker. And, and that so that's something that, I suppose I still would quite like to be, whatever moderate means, but I am questioning whether I'd even bother drinking at all, because what's the point? What what, what benefit does it give you? Um, in reality, I think everything that we that I saw through in alcohol, like I associated very much, and I think my brain is wired like this, I associated enjoyment with alcohol. I associated going out and seeing people or going to events with alcohol. Um, and the thought of removing that element was fearful. You know, I was fearful of that, but actually it's proven to be very easy. And I think I think what would be interesting is if I went out with some friends who all didn't drink, because it would be a non-event then, clearly, but we would have as much fun, and I, I'm absolutely sure we would. Um, so I suppose in a sense, alcohol is starting to show its true colours to me. And I'm starting to see perhaps exactly what it's, what it's all about. But, you know, this is just a journey and it's the start. I hoped I'd start this video sort of montage a little earlier, but I haven't. Because I didn't believe I would even get past the first day, let alone the first week. But I'm here now, I'm at this point where we're four months in, and I want to continue as is, and we'll see where we are, and I will try and do other videos that hopefully might inspire, encourage, might just give a little bit of a spark, maybe just an initial catalyst to somebody to say, maybe I should take a look, maybe not before Christmas, maybe after Christmas, but... Just take a little look. And if there's one thing I would encourage anybody to consider, especially with January coming up, try and do 30 days without it. Ideally, ideally 90, but 30 is a really good starting point because I think in that time, it gives you enough time away to really start to make or, or think about the alternatives. There's a couple of books I will suggest as well. Uh, a couple of documentaries that I would suggest that I think are worthy of just taking a look at. But that's for another day. In the meantime, I wish everybody well. And uh, I hope that um, 
you know, you might just put that drink down. Speak to you soon. Bye.